The 1930s was a time when European artists and collectors were particularly interested in African masks. These masks echoed the fashion for geometric lines that had arisen in around 1925 with the Art Deco movement, and so matched the prevailing taste in the sphere of modern art. African masks were very influential over Picasso's work, such as his portraits of Marie-Thérèse Walter. For these portraits, Picasso was inspired by the masks of the Luala people. He took from them the distinctive nose shape, which, highlighted with balance and elegance, gives rhythm to the overall object. In his depictions of Marie-Thérèse Walter, Picasso uses rounder lines than those on the masks, and so suggests the softness of female facial features while retaining an imposing appearance. In the same way, he accentuates the eyes and mouth using the style of the Luala mask. Picasso does not deform the facial features, but instead harmoniously emphasizes them. As a result, the face of Marie-Thérèse Walter appears fixed and calculated, itself mask-like with an interrogatory air. Our Luala mask is in this same geometrical style. It has a lozenge-shaped concave face, rectangular eyes, and a striking circular black mouth. Only three colors are used, red, white, and black. This gives the mask rhythm and grace. This distinctively shaped mask would have been worn by a man. Its angular, protuberant nose goes all the way from the lower part of the face to the back of the head. The mask recalls a bird, mixing human and animal-like elements. Its top, black with white stripes, is separated from the rest by a border.